If caught in the early stages, cancer patients can have a good chance of beating the disease. But once the cancer has spread, doctors say it's often too late. A professor at the Yukon Health Center, though, says she has found an entirely new approach to treating malignant cancer cells by teaching them to act like normal, healthy cells. Channel 3's Hallie Jackson has the story. Dr. Joan Karen at the Yukon Health Center has been studying cells for decades and as a breast cancer survivor herself, she has focused her research on finding a cure for the most deadly form of cancer. If you leave that primary tumor in for too long, I, you don't get early detection, the, the cells start evolving. They're aggressive, they can now move. They couldn't move before. Now they can actually crawl. Dr. Karen has developed a new drug that specifically targets cancerous cells that break out of an encapsulated tumor and can spread into a person's blood or bones. People have thought that was a one-way street to go from a normal to a metastatic cell. But what we've shown uh, is that it can actually take those malignant cells and, and turn them around. They can go, make a U-turn and go back to an, and become a, a normal cell permanently and be functional. Dr. Karen says one of the biggest benefits of this drug, called methyl sulfone, is that it's completely natural, non-toxic, and not as harmful as current cancer treatments. Most people look at chemo drugs by measuring how many cells they kill, and I didn't do that. Getting funding for research is proving to be difficult since the drug is so novel. So Dr. Karen has turned to the Yukon Foundation for help raising money and Connecticut residents have kept her research going so far. I get emails and phone calls from people now whose family members or friends have metastatic cancer and it breaks my heart because I can't do anything yet. So far, Dr. Karen says the drug has seen great results with metastatic melanoma and she's currently reviewing the data for breast cancer. Yeah, this is so fundamental it, and it's, it works against different kinds of cancer. I'm Hallie Jackson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Well, that's really exciting. And Dr. Karen says her patent for the methyl cell phone drug is pending. She says she hopes to catch the attention of the FDA to get them to approve it. For more information or if you'd like to donate, you can head to our website, WFSB.com.